What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're keeping safe. So if you've upgraded Logic to 10.5.1 and for some reason it won't open, it's just stuck on scanning all the units, then this video will help you because I'm going to show you how you can get around that. So I don't know if you've seen my other videos on how to bypass plugins on Logic. So if you've got a session and for some reason it's it's pausing, it won't open, then I've got a video that you can check out that will show you how. If you, Like I said, if you've upgraded to Logic Pro, 10.5.1 and you can't open your session at all which happened to me then i'm going to show you a workaround um i got a question the other day someone asked me how do you find out the plugin that's causing the problem well that's what i'm going to show you before we jump into that video before we jump into the video i need to shout out my two new subscribers and my favorite comment for this week so shout out my two new subscribers ed porter danny boom beats thank you both for hitting that subscribe button i appreciate that Hope you find some value from the videos that I'll be putting out and that you've hit the notification bell so you would have got notified for this video and for future videos. Favourite comment for this week's coming from Ted Fish. Thank you, bro. I appreciate your support. Always glad to help. Like I like I always say, it's good to hear that my videos are helping and you're finding value. So yeah, much appreciated. Let's dive into this video. Let's sort out your Logic Pro. So I think it's a case of 32-bit plugins are no longer supported with Logic Pro. So I think that's what the issue is. So if you've got some old plugins, some old demos and stuff like that, then that's probably the reason why Logic Pro won't open. So the way to get around that is to remove all your plugins from the components. Yeah, it's long. If you've got a lot of plugins that you've been collecting over the years, then maybe 10, 15 minutes or longer than that, just to go through your folders and find out which one's causing the issue. What you want to do is make a new folder on your desktop, call that components, then go to your Mac hard drive, drag and drop all your component, all the audio units, drag it into your new folder and delete the old ones. I'll show you what to do. New folder, call that components. And you wanna go, go to the components folder that's holding all your audio units. So Macintosh HD, library, audio, plugins, components, and then highlight all those plugins and drag and drop into the new folder that you've made on a desktop. Once you've drag and drop all your audio units into the new folder, delete all the units and move them to the bin. So right click, move to bin. So now that folder is empty. And then what you want to do is drag and drop from the new folder that you've made, but in batches. So you decided how many you want to put in. And once you've done that, you need to open logic. If the files are fine, that's gone into logic. It will open but if they're not it will just stay stuck searching for all the unit plugins updating inf information about unit all the unit plugins if it stays stuck on that then you know one of them components that you put back into the folder isn't working no more it's not compatible so you need to remove it you need to find which one it is like i said if you've got a lot of plugins that you've collected over the years then it might be a boring job it might take up some of your day but it needs to be done otherwise you ain't going to be able to use logic pro and yes, we need an update from Logic. Sometimes you need a clean up. Got old demos sitting on your hard drive that you don't need, you don't even use, you've you maybe even forgot about. So it's a good thing, I think, anyway. Once you started adding back the components to your folder, you, you might need to, well, I had to restart the Mac because I made the mistake of finding one or two plugins that was causing the problem and then putting a whole heap back thinking I'd finished. And then when I came to use Logic the next day, it wouldn't open because every time you put back some components, you need to restart the Mac just so that it can do its update, it can do its thing. So that's why it's better for you to just do it in small batches, find the problem, plug in, get rid of it, restart your Mac. So you've put a few audio units back in, I would restart the Mac, open up Logic. If it's fine, then you know the plugin that you've dropped into the folder are cool. Put another batch in, same thing, restart the Mac. Logic opens fine, then there's no problem. If it doesn't open, you know that there's the last batch that you've put in into the original folder, there's a problem. So one of those plugins is causing a problem. So you've got to go through one by one if you have to, to see which, which of the plugins is causing your problem. How annoying is that? So annoying. I was thinking, yeah, let me just update Logic Pro. Maybe it'll sort out some of the bugs and the crashes and stuff. Little did I know it's gonna, it's gonna cause a whole heap of problems and me having to research and look for a way to to get around it. Could have reverted on my backup disk, but I didn't want to do that because I couldn't remember if I've done any more work since then that might I might have lost. This is the workaround that I found. If you found a quicker way, uh, an easier way, then drop a comment below and help anyone else who's struggling with Logic 10.5.1. If there's something in the video that you didn't understand, drop a comment below or hit me up on Instagram and I'll try to explain it a bit better for you. If this video has helped at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. <laughs>